Not to be dramatic or anything, but this Thursday, Tesla will change the world forever by showcasing their RoboTaxi, a fully autonomous self-driving vehicle that will revolutionize the way we travel, save millions of lives in the process, and is yet again another piece of the Tesla jigsaw puzzle that will lead the way to a fully sustainable electric future. And Elon might have a little dance too, or maybe jump up and down with excitement. Who knows what that crazy genius will do next to upset the fragile. So what do I think is about to be revealed at the long-awaited 1010 event, aka the We Robot event? Before I get to my hopes and speculation, here's Grok's answer. Let's find out together just how accurate Grok is at predicting the future. The Wii Robot event by Tesla, scheduled for October 10, 2024, at Warner Brothers Studio in Los Angeles, is set to unveil Tesla's vision for the future of autonomy, with a particular focus on revealing its robo-taxi, which has been referred to as the Tesla Cybercap, or robo-taxi. Here's what you can expect based on the information available up to October 7, 2024. That's pretty up-to-date, isn't it? That's right now for me. Robo-taxi, Tesla Cybercap. This is expected to be a fully autonomous vehicle designed for ride-hailing services. Speculation and hints from Tesla suggest the vehicle might not come with traditional steering wheels or pedals, emphasizing its fully autonomous nature. The design has been teased to be somewhat reminiscent of the Cybertruck's unconventional aesthetics, possibly featuring a stainless steel exoskeleton or similar robust materials. Well, if it's been dubbed the Cybercab, quite possibly we can expect some Cybertrucky vibes, but as pointed out on previous videos, why not use stainless steel? No one's going to care about the colour, because no one's actually going to own them. And paint is an extra labour-intensive expense during the manufacturing process. Plus it's tougher, but heavier though, which won't benefit efficiency. Oh, I can't wait for some answers. Autonomous technology. While the vehicle itself will be the star, Tesla's advancements in autonomous driving technology, likely an evolution of their full self-driving FSD capabilities, will be showcased. This could include new hardware or significant software updates that power the RoboTaxi's autonomous driving system. I would love to hear solid progress on FSD timelines, rollouts to other countries, and just reassurance that Tesla has the end in sight for solving autonomy, which I believe it has. Interior Glimpse Tesla has already provided some glimpses of the interior through videos, suggesting a focus on passenger comfort and utility, tailored for ride-sharing scenarios where the vehicle might not have traditional driving controls. Is this a grok up? I'm not aware of any internal photos or videos other than this one. Let me know if you've seen further evidence. Optimus Integration Although primarily focused on the robo-taxi, given Tesla's developments with Optimus, the Tesla bot, there might be some integration or mention of how Optimus could interact with or enhance the robo-taxi service, perhaps in terms of loading stroke unloading luggage, assisting passengers or maintenance tasks. Might each robo-taxi come with its own Optimus? This would suggest it could be helpful and keep an eye on things. No doubt Optimus will be involved in the cleanup operations of robo-taxis, plugging and unplugging them in special dedicated areas for charging, mopping up sick from the footwells as people get overexcited, that sort of thing. Very intrigued to hear how Optimus will be part of this event. After all, it is called We Robot, and I don't think that's got anything to do with the Scottish. Oh hi, there's a We Robot! <laughs> Event experience. The event itself at Warner Brothers Studios hints at a theatrical reveal, possibly incorporating live demonstrations or interactive elements to showcase the RoboTaxi's capabilities in a real-world setting. Tesla Newswire yesterday on X. Countless Teslas are being tested on the Warner Brothers Studio back lot ahead of the 1010 RoboTaxi event. Are they running FSD unsupervised version 0? <laughs> that would be the ultimate good news, wouldn't it? Potential for additional announcements. While the main attraction is the RoboTaxi, Tesla events often come with additional reveals or updates. This could include enhancements to existing models like the Cybertruck, updates on Tesla's battery technology, or even hints about future projects or collaborations, especially in the realm of AI and robotics. This has just occurred to me, but, but bear with me. You don't think Tesla will be making Cybertrucks into dedicated RoboTaxis, do you? For more occupancy, could cost a bit more, obviously, to produce, but it's got way more space for five adults and luggage. 
or am I overthinking this? Place your bets now in the comments below. The next big question I have is whether this dedicated robo-taxi will also be the long-awaited Model 2, aka the $25,000 Tesla. After all, it would be the same shell, batteries, features and functionality, only with those classic retro things we call a steering wheel and pedals. Again, let me know your predictions in the comments. I can't wait to be put out of my misery, to be honest. I just want to know answers. All part of the fun following Tesla, I guess. The Wii Robot event is not just about unveiling a new vehicle, but positioning Tesla at the forefront of autonomous mobility, potentially reshaping urban transportation with a vehicle designed from the ground up for autonomy. Given Tesla's track record for pushing technological boundaries, expect a blend of hardware innovation, software sophistication, and perhaps an unexpected twist or two. I must say, Grok is getting seriously good, isn't it? Let's see if the predictions are correct. Here's what we already know though, as stated by Elon Musk in the past. Number one, Tesla will be the sole operator for the service of the dedicated robo-taxi vehicle. Two, the service will be integrated into Tesla's app for anyone with a phone to use, much like Uber, for example, as we've already seen from this mock-up of the Tesla app back in Q1 2024. Three, all purpose-built robo-taxis will be owned, operated and maintained by Tesla for Tesla. They will not be for sale to others. And lastly, number four, owners of passenger Tesla vehicles with hardware three and above will be able to opt in to having their vehicles participate in Tesla's robo-taxi network service. This, of course, is the holy grail of hope that Tesla owners have been anticipating for years, turning their Teslas into money printing machines. Consider the opportunity here, where owning a car that typically sits idle for 95% of the time could now be put to use on the robo-taxi network. And hey presto, your car will earn more money in a week functioning as a robo-taxi than your monthly Tesla payments. Marvellous! Tesla will of course take a percentage of each fare, perhaps 20% would be a reasonable assumption, and Tesla owners will be able to choose when they add their car to the robo-taxi network, which customer ratings they'd like to pick up. I mean, you don't want zero star customers in your car, do you? You'll also have boundary locations covered and all things that can be configured on the Tesla app. Some other things I want to touch on right after I've had some tea. Much like the original iPhone launch event, Tesla's answer to autonomy looks to change transportation forever. This, as of today, does not seem to be widely understood, as long term, this could lead to massive stock growth, just like other transformative innovations. Not financial advice, of course. Do your own research, blah -de blah 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 But with Elon Musk's global aspirations, he has positioned Tesla to win the lion's share of the market. The company with the most data, the best technology and execution will likely dominate the world of self-driving vehicles. Autonomy's major revenue potential in software as a service looks to deliver extremely high profit margins. Many analysts predict that Tesla is sitting on a trillion dollar opportunity in the self-driving car market. That's before potential licensing of autonomous software to any other company that might want to survive the future. But if that's not mind-blowing enough for you, just consider this. Expect a similar event for Optimus in the not-so-distant future once full self-driving has been solved. FSW is next. That's full self-walking. It's the same vision-based neural network that will allow Optimus robots to become the useful humanoid robots that so far have been more science fiction than fact. We just saw how good Grok is at providing solid responses to questions. Add a voice unit to Optimus, implement Grok, and a two-way intelligent conversation with it doesn't seem a far stretch, does it? But the major difference here is Optimus has an even larger total addressable market opportunity than autonomous cars. A ratio greater than 1 to 1 humans has been suggested. And when you think about it, why not have a gigantic workforce of useful humanoid robots building out our future? I'm digressing again, let's get back to the Wii Robot event. As Elon suggested on X, this will be one for the history books. I'd add that this could be even more important than the original Model 3 unveil on the 31st of March 2016. It's a long time ago, isn't it? Which, goodness me, was the catalyst for the entire auto industry to go electric or go broke. Something they are still figuring out, by the way. But I genuinely believe bankruptcy is coming for most legacy automakers. Too little, too late for most. They still can't produce compelling, profitable electric vehicles, let alone have bothered to take seriously the implications of Tesla's efforts to solve autonomy and add the necessary hardware to their cars to future-proof them. That would allow them at least to license Tesla's software to make their cars autonomous someday. 
Oh, it's so frustrating knowing what's coming. So while the Model 3 kick-started EV adoption for the masses, the robo-taxi is about to change the meaning of transportation altogether. Imagine a world where you don't need to worry about driving, parking, fueling, taxing, insuring, or even owning a car if you don't want to. That's the excitement, the opportunity, the life-changing benefits that will come from autonomous cars. First it was the wheel, then horse and carts, then the motor car, then electric vehicles. Next up, quickly on the tail of electric cars, is autonomous vehicles, of which the leader in the field happens to be Tesla. And if you are already screaming at me, Waymo and other autonomous self-driving car companies exist, you must understand that only Tesla has the vision-based solution for scaling autonomy without the need to extensively map every road before a vehicle can drive on it. By using vision only, as we humans do with our eyeballs, plus a neural net with potentially orders of magnitude more compute power than our own meatbag brains, it's only a matter of time before we see Tesla's solution winning out. And when I say winning, I mean obliterating the capabilities of anyone else's autonomous solution. Tesla's fleet of vehicles constantly collects data, which feeds into its neural networks, this real-world data allows for continuous learning and improvement, which is crucial for refining autonomous driving technology. The more cars on the road, the more data Tesla can gather, leading to better performance over time. And only Tesla are gathering the vast quantities of data needed to solve this problem. And of course, with rapid improvements comes rapid updates. Tesla's over-the-air update capability means improvements in autonomous driving technology can be deployed to the entire fleet near instantaneously, something that other car companies are still struggling to even implement into their vehicles. The user feedback loop, Tesla's active user base, provides immediate feedback on autopilot's performance, which Tesla's could then use to refine its algorithms. This direct interaction with real-world use scenarios speeds up the development of autonomy more effectively than simulated or purely lab-based testing, which is essentially what Waymo has by only offering its service of self-driving taxis within a handful of cities. Drop them anywhere else on the planet and they are useless. When Waymo vehicles do get into trouble, they are remotely operated to get them back on track. This is no scalable solution if millions of Waymos were on our roads. And it's also no scalable solution for the sheer cost of producing these sensory overloaded cars. Each one of these might be 10 times the cost of a Tesla Model 3. It's just not scalable to solve autonomy. Perhaps this is my Tesla addiction talking, the daily following of what Tesla have been up to for the past eight years or so. It's no longer a matter of if Tesla solves autonomy, but when. What I would like to see is totally intervention-free driving from any Tesla with full self-driving, or at least a real expected timeline for such. Solving autonomy has been the most difficult problem to solve, but it will be solved, as all puzzles eventually are. The question remains, when will I know when it's fully solved? When will Wall Street know it's fully solved? When will regulators, the general public, my family and friends know Tesla have solved it? Like getting into a Tesla for the first time is going to take bums in seats to really appreciate the magnitude of self-driving cars. And with it, the catastrophic disruption to the auto industry as robo-taxis and self-driving Teslas become the next norm. But this really could creep up quickly on people. As we've just seen, FSD supervised has now awakened in Cybertrucks and in the Tesla Semi. One little software update and these vehicles can now drive themselves under constant supervision for now that is. Just how long will it be until every Tesla owner with hardware 3 or above becomes the owner of a fully self-driving vehicle? I think we are about to find out. Like everyone else who's apprehensively waiting for this event to start, I cannot wait to see what Tesla has to show us. Wherever you are in the world, enjoy the show and let's catch up after We Robot. If you like Tesla content, check out my YouTube channel Tesla Jigsaw as there's tons of fun videos covering all things Tesla. Oh, and that's handy. Here's a couple of videos for you now to click on. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, patrons, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.